Frank, we're about to see it begin. It's, uh, what is that? Seven minutes, 7.55. Frank McGee, you there? Yes. And, uh, it's getting mighty close. And, um, though we take this in part rather matter-of-factly, I can remember, and I'm sure you can too, David, when we were kids, that one way of separating the nuts from the normal people was to ask a person, do you think a man will ever be on the moon? And if he said yes, you chalked him up as a nut. Right. <laughs> and if he said no, you said, well, that fellow's all right. Well, it's about to happen. Oh, Seven David, well, there mm -hmm. it sits out there. The culmination of, uh, well, 25, somewhere between 25 and $33 billion. <laughs> the skills and dedication of about 300,000 technicians, 11 and three quarter years of time. The solemn but uh, certainly risk-filled pledge of a president, some heartbreaking failures and some stirring successes. This is a day of little kin to that October 4th, 1947, when the shrill and persistent beeps of Sputnik as it uh, wheeled about the autumn skies shoved us unprepared and awkward into the space age. And this day certainly bears little resemblance to those bleak days of 1958 when vanguards and discoverers and Junos and atlases were blowing up on our launch pads. Jack King is about ready with an announcement, Chet. We're going to switch to him now. Apollo set on launch control. control. We passed the six-minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11. Now five minutes, 52 seconds and counting. We're on time at the present time for our plane liftoff of 32 minutes past the hour. Spacecraft test conductor Skip Chauvin now has completed the status check of his personnel in the control room. All report they are go for the mission. And this has been reported to the test supervisor, Bill Schick. The test supervisor are now going through some status checks. Launch operations manager, Paul Downey, reports go for launch. Launch director, Rocco Patron, uh, now gives a go for five minutes, 20 seconds and counting. Coming up shortly, that swing arm up at the spacecraft level will come back to its fully retracted position. This should occur at the five minute mark in the count. In the meantime, the lunar module tel telemetry has been powered down. We took a good look at Eagle, and it looks good. The spacecraft test conductor for the lunar module reported that Eagle was go. The swing arm now coming back to its fully retracted position as our countdown continues. T-minus four minutes, 50 seconds, and counting. Skip Chauvin informing the astronauts that the swing arm are now coming back. The astronauts will have a few more reports coming up in the countdown. The last business report will be from Neil Armstrong at the 45-second mark in the count when he gives a status on the final alignment of the stabilization and control system. We're now passing the 4-minute, 30-second mark in the countdown. Still go at this time. at 15 seconds, the test supervisor now has informed launch vehicle test conductor Norm Carlson, you are go, go for launch. From this time down, uh, Carlson uh, handles the countdown as the launch vehicle uh, begins to build up. We're now hitting the four minute mark. Four, minute mar four minutes and counting, we are go for Apollo 11. We'll go on an automatic sequence uh, starting at three minutes and seven seconds. minutes 45 seconds and counting and the final uh, abort checks between uh, several key members of the crew here in the control center and the astronauts launch operations manager Paul Donnelly wished the crew on the launch team's behalf good luck and Godspeed three minutes 25 seconds and counting we're still go at this time we'll be coming up on the automatic sequence about uh, 10 or 15 seconds from this time all still go at this time. Neil Armstrong reported back when he received the good wishes. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Firing command coming in now. We are on the automatic sequence. We're approaching the three minute mark in the count. T minus three minutes and counting. T minus three, we are go with all elements of the mission at this time. 
are on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. T minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. The members of the launch team here in the control center monitoring a number of what we call red line values. These are tolerances we don't want to go above and below in temperatures and pressures. They're standing by to call out any deviations from our plans. Two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. We're still go on Apollo 11 at this time. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Two minutes, 10 seconds and counting. The target for the Apollo 11 astronauts, the moon at liftoff will be at a distance of 218,096 miles away. We've just passed the two minute mark in the countdown. T minus one minute, 54 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates that the oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. We continue to build up pressure in all three stages uh, here at the last minute uh, to prepare it for a liftoff. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Go 
Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines out. I'm inboard cutoff. Downrange 35 miles, 30 miles high. Standing by for the outboard engine cut down now. There it is, right on the tip. And ignition. Eleven Houston, thrust is go. All engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger. You're loud and clear, Houston. 